This is 25 Whistles, presented by DraftKings Fantasy Sports. Come on. Come on. All right. Come on. Thank you. Gosh, Kevin. Man. We're, we're having to, like, figure it out as we go. We're, we're working on a snow crew. Uh, okay, check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with the code Bobby Sports. Could you not figure out how to turn it down? I, I mean, I thought it was a pod one here, and that just wasn't working, so I tried them all, and I don't know. We were jamming. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. And we don't have to do the whole thing again. Just pull it oh, down that slightly. It. That's not it either. <laughs> because life's more fun when you're under the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. <laughs> Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void were prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. Kevin was not here until like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. A little late show. Well, you missed the radio show, but you weren't supposed to come in. Because if roads are bad, don't risk it. Mm-hmm. Were roads better later? Yeah, I more, mean, I didn't do any. Cars on them. I didn't do any driving yesterday, but like the main highways and the major roads, big, big um, roads. Yeah, they were good. Mike and Reed are in their respective homes. Reed, how are you doing this morning, buddy? I'm great, dude. It's a blizzard out there. It's crazy. Reed has two shoes behind him, and I didn't know what that was until I saw his Instagram story. Reed has are those Tony Hawk used signed shoes? They sure are, Bobby. How'd you get those? Man, I honestly, I I think I got them for a birthday present. Um, back in 2005. Were you a big Tony Hawk guy? I was. I was a big skater up until like junior high, honestly. And so that was last Tony year. Hawk, yeah. My dude. Yeah. You and Eddie both probably as adults could skate now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm a longboarder. Eddie likes a longboard. Uh huh. Yeah. I can kick flip. Still. <laughs> I can kick flip. Hey, we should get together, bro, and just kind of, you know, skate a little wow. bit. Okay, cool, Reed. Thanks. Cool. Let Thanks, it go. Reed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, and Mike is at the set of Movie Mike, and Mike's got his Movie Mike pictures behind him. Um, I got my skateboard, too. Look. And Mike hey. is also a skater. That is true. Look at Mike. Mike coming off the Cowboys' defeat as well. Um, sorry about that, buddy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. We'll get to the Cowboys. Eddie and I had a whole long conversation after the game. A little more fresh wound. It's definitely fresh. Yeah, I'm kind of upset, honestly. That... Why is he upset? That what? Be- because I, I didn't get to be a part of Eddie's oh. fresh wound. Yeah. Well, it was a, I mean, it was snowing. There was a blizzard outside. It's so sucked. I it, know, I know. It sucks for him. I'm just kidding. Uh, but we're here. Let's go. Let's do the tittle tattle. All right, bear oh, with God. me. Oh, God. Oh, God. I knew he was going to hit me a button. <laughs> it's Kevin. Go ahead. It's time for the stupidest name ever. It's the tittle tattle with Take your time, buddy. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, here we go. Which playoff debut impressed you more this weekend, C.J. Stroud or Jordan Love? Jordan Love. Really? Just because the Cowboys never had a chance. (laughs) And I talk about it. I lost a bunch of money. I wanted the Cowboys to win. But Jordan Love looked like they both looked great. Their stat lines were pretty much identical. I think there was just a couple yards difference. Uh, Stroud was 16 for 21 for 274, three touchdowns, no interceptions. That's amazing. Love was 16 for 21, 272, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Pretty easy when everyone's wide open on that. But. Yeah. Just, <laughs> I think because it was the Cowboys and Jordan Love had been, even that first half of this year, in that group of quarterbacks that probably aren't going to pan out, second half of the year he's just been killing it. And I watch more of that game closely, so there's definitely a biased answer here where I watched some of C.J. Stroud play. I watched some of that game, but I watched every freaking play in Green Bay and Jordan Love, back foot, open, crosses, tied everything. It was crazy. He was throwing dimes. Both were awesome, but to me, Jordan Love, just because I watched that game probably more close, but both were great. Kevin, what do you think? I'm going to go opposite here. I'm going to say Stroud, just because he is a rookie, yeah. and Love had a few years to learn – that was impressive. They were both impressive. But Stroud, I mean, every time you think, oh, he's just a rookie, it'll hit him at some point. It hasn't. Right. Second round of the playoffs. Yeah, it hasn't. Killing it. Crazy. All right, next up. With another disappointing loss to end their season, do you think the Cowboys should make a change at head coach? Yes, they have to. They can't go into the year again. They can't do another McCarthy year. They just can't do another McCarthy year. So, yes, the answer is yes. The question is going to be who's it going to be. McCarthy is 12-5 and five in each of his last three seasons, and that's awesome. You take it every time, but you just expect somebody that has that record to win more than one playoff game. He's 1-3 in the playoffs. So 12-5 and five is great, 
but you got to have some playoff wins in there. <laughs> I'm just looking at Eddie. Eddie. No, I'm just listening. <laughs> just listening. So, yes, I do believe. And even Jerry Jones, and who knows, they could have a new coach hired by the time this gets posted. Because I, Bel- I did see Belichick interviewed with, with the Falcons. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just, I mean, the Falcons, you know, the whole 28 to 3 thing. And then at, at the end of the day, it's like, are you who's interviewing Belichick from the Falcons? They said the interview lasted 28 minutes. <laughs> Is it Belichick interviewing them or them interviewing him? What's Probably his a resume? mutual interview. Right? Like, how yes. do you interview Bel? Unless you're Jerry Jones or, like, yeah. I, I don't know, somebody that big. How do you interview Belichick? I think they have to get rid of McCarthy. I don't think that's a crazy take. I think everybody thinks that. He can't come back. You know what, though? That's a good question. Like, so, Bones, if you're at, you're hiring someone to do 25 whistles, like, your question is, like, all right, how long have you been – Doing podcasts. Like, what's your knowledge on radio? What do you ask? <laughs> like, he said, what do you ask Belichick? Like, we know everything he's done. Would well, you say, what would you do to our team? Mostly, I would say, who do you plan to bring in as your coordinators? You know, are you going to bring in all your cousins and seven sons? Yeah. Um, do you plan, or how long do you think you still have in coaching? Obviously, he wants to beat Shula's record as the winningest all time. He's second. He can do that. Do you think you have three, four, five years left? Are you just chasing the record? Who's coming offensive defensively? What would you do in this situation? You know you're not going to be the GM, right, Mr. Belichick? Oof. You're going to be the coach. Like, I think all of that would need to get discussed. <laughs> if you went to the Cowboys 100%, you're not going to be the GM. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if you're Bill Belichick and it hasn't worked out with you being the GM, maybe you just want to be a coach now and get your wins. I think he wants to win one because Brady won one without him. Mm-hmm. I think he probably really wants to win one without Brady. Yeah. Just to show that Brady wasn't the one that was carrying the whole thing. Gosh. And now the Bucks are winning without Brady. Mm-hmm. That, that was cool. <laughs> I'm big Baker guy. Yeah, yeah. Did you see last night, and maybe you can help me. I know that A.J. Brown had called, it was A.J. Brown, and then I think it was like a Goddard had called Jalen Hurts a P word on the sideline. No. Oh, I didn't see that. Did you guys see that? No. No, a B, a B word. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think it was Goddard last night called him. I don't know why. Goddard called him a B on the sideline. Like you're being a B? Yeah, but it was just like I just saw the clip, and then I saw what everybody was saying. You may, Mike, will you search that up and let us know when you find out more about that? I saw it this morning when it was Goddard and A.J. Brown both called Jalen Hurts a B, you know? Was that before or after he dropped the pass, Goddard? Uh, dude, I, I just <laughs> <laughs> got him. Yeah. Goddard. Oh, uh, here we go. Is this today, Mike? Yesterday? Just today. Okay. Um, scroll down to that. This is from Clutch Points, whatever that is. Tensions boiled over with an Eagles team that lost five of their six games headed into the playoffs. Eagles tight end Dallas Goddard was on the sideline having a heated conversation with Jalen Hurts. First, A.J. Brown, now Dallas Goddard calling Jalen Hurts a B on the sideline. Oh, so they've both done it. After the game, Goddard talked about the incident, said it's all as well. Yeah. Uh, it was a mistake, kind of messed up. Messed up big play. I think so. anyway, he did. If didn't I called say you a B, I don't think all would be well. Yeah, I would. Twelve hours afterwards, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> no, at least cover your mouth. What do you yeah. mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? So the cameras don't see it. Oh, just cover your mouth and be like you're being a. If you do say it, make sure that it's said just like it was said in the locker room where nobody else. Because you can have issues with people even during a game, but make sure that those issues are just between two people and they don't get blown out of proportion because mm-hmm. they will be. That'll always be up now. That'll always be a thing where. They'll start to why, – why did two players call him a – remember they did that with Dak early this year. Who called him that? One of the defensive backs, like, picked him off in practice and, like, called him a name and ran Oh, out. yeah, in training camp. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. Yeah, I do remember that, actually. God, that feels like an eternity. It does. <laughs> it does. And, and also, that same game, I guess Jason Kelsey's retiring. Yeah, I did see that. Six-time first-team All-Pro, seven-time Pro Bowler, Super Bowl champion – Started 193 of 193 career games. He never missed a game. That's crazy. Is that, is that what that I mean, yeah. I'm assuming that's yeah. what that means. Yeah. Six-time captain and raised millions of dollars for charity. That's awesome. A Hall of Famer for sure. Hard to be a Hall of Famer on the offensive line, too, because you get no credit. And nobody knows about you, really. Yeah. But did you see they got stopped? The, t- the tush push got stopped. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. It was unbelievable. On two point. We, we know how to stop it now. And how? They got under, they got under Kelsey. Mm-hmm. There, I guess, nose is that a nose tackle? Who is that? Yeah, Vita Vea. But he's Vita- the only one to ever stop it before as well. Yeah, they've done it twice now. Yeah, Vita Vea is the one that stopped it last time too. 
It's just amazing. Like, How to stop is get Vita Vea. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's go. hard. They're Cowboys like... need Vita Vea. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, McCarthy's got to go. Okay. And I'm sure it'll be sooner than later. Uh, but we talk about that a little bit. All right, go ahead, Kevin. With a long-term decision looming in Miami, do you think the Dolphins should extend Tua? Yeah, because Tua's a good quarterback. And what else are you going to do? We, half the teams in the NFL don't have a good quarterback. It's not like everybody's got a good quarterback and everybody's looking to slightly upgrade. Some teams ha- don't have a quarterback. They have four. And none of them work. And two is good. I don't think two is top five. I think two is top ten. If you have a top ten quarterback, he didn't even get a concussion all year. <laughs> yeah, good for him. I definitely thought he would. Didn't I, you guys? I thought he was against that game against the Chiefs. Yeah. We got one good hit in there. I'm like, there's this is it. So his rookie contract ends after next season. I would sign him long term. He led the NFL in passing guards this season. He threw four touchdowns and five interceptions in the final three games. And, but anytime they played somebody weak, they really pounded them. But that, you know, he's a product of the offense as well. But everyone is. It's like saying Brock Purdy doesn't count because he has so many weapons. Well, that's, that's you know, no, it does count. It's philosophy. Steve Young had Jerry Rice. Mm-hmm. And Steve Young, we could go through this. Tom Brady had Randy Moss. Yeah, for one year. And, okay, Gronkowski. Edelman. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Edelman. Will Edelman be in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> Come on, Patriots <laughs> Hall of Fame. Okay. So I'm going to say yes. Top 10 quarterbacks, I say yes. Let's list them. One, Mahomes. Two. Lamar Jackson. Lamar. And then three and four are probably, uh, but we'll put Josh Allen ahead of Burrow because okay. Josh Allen's healthy. Fair. Allen, Burrow. Jalen. Hurts. Okay, I'd take him over to, uh, I guess we're basically playing who would we take over to. Uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Stafford? No, I don't think so. I think Stafford. Really? Really? I think Stafford's too old. I think Stafford Stafford's only got a year yeah. or two left of him. That's, I, okay, so we're talking about like for the next five years. Yeah, so. if you're, you're signing a contract with gotcha. the player. Okay, yeah, yeah that's true. Okay. Um, I don't know that I would take Goff over Tua. I think they're comparable, Oof. but I think I'd still take Tua. Would you put Dak over Tua? I'd take Trevor Lawrence over Tua. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. You do like Trevor Lawrence. Okay, so I'm going to put Trevor Lawrence. Hey, you're a big Baker guy. Yeah, Baker's just older. <laughs> I was just asking. Uh, Jordan Close. Love? No, 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 no. No, I can't, I can't go. Yet. I can't have Not recency yet. bias. I can't have recency bias on Jordan Love. I know, but hey, he's shown he can do it in the big moments. What about Brock Purdy? Come on, this is it. This is it. Like, if you believe in the kid, this is it. I'm still going to take two over Purdy. I like that. Trevor Simeon? <laughs> Case Keenum? So it, by this, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. CJ Stroud. Oh, 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 I'm still, ooh. I'm still taking two of them. Woo. Trev, uh, yeah, I think that's it as far as like quarterbacks that matter because we can do like Bailey Zappi or Nick Mullins or uh, Jared Stidham. Justin Herbert. No, oh, no, no. Come on. Stop, I know stop, you're not stop. a huge Herbert guy, but stop, come stop, on. Stop. Ahead of Tua? Stop, 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 stop. We've already given him 10 chances. Hold on. If I were going to sign, I'd probably sign Herbert ahead of Tua. Yeah. Just just from tools, weapons. Okay, so Herbert comes in at number eight. From Wait, two, five, six, yeah, eight. It's hard. It, but listen to the, all these teams that don't have a quarterback. This is why you sign them. You have Sam Howell. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Who don't knows? Know. Don't know. But that's, a, that's right down the middle. Who knows? Uh, the Titans. Uh, who's that? Exactly. Yeah. So Tannehill won't be back. And then also, Levis, Levis, who knows? You know, he wasn't, like, so dynamic. Like, maybe. How about Geno Smith? Mm. Like, not the long-term guy. Mm-hmm. The Steelers, I don't know. Which one? Mason Rudolph? <laughs> no. I mean, he played last night. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy. So they don't have a quarterback. But Mason Rudolph wasn't even the st- – he didn't play a single game last year, is what was crazy. Did yeah. you see that stat? Yeah. They were talking about Mason Rudolph played a couple games here, a couple games there. Not a single game last year. Uh, the Broncos, Russell Wilson, I he's mean, gone. But even Kenny Pickett, right? We'll put both of them in that same category with the Steelers. Like, they don't have a quarterback. No. Um, Trevor Simeon, the Jets, but they have Aaron Rodgers. But is the... what's Rodgers? What's his status? Right. The Giants. What are they, What are they going to do? Daniel Jones. Jones. I mean, he is the guy. He's just hurt. But again, this is how hard it is to keep yeah. a quarterback. Or to have one that's like your guy. Derek Carr, okay, I can still co-sign on Derek Carr having another <laughs> shot in, in New Orleans. You love him. 
Bailey Zappi, nope. Nick, Nol- Nick Mullins, nope. Carson Wentz, nope. Easton Stick, nope. Aiden O'Connell, nope. Blaine Gabbert, he's the backup, Kansas City. So Carson Wentz is, is uh, Stafford's backup? Yes. It's pretty solid to have him as a backup. Mm-hmm. Jared Sidham. Justin Fields, but they got the number one pick anyway, so they'll figure it out. Yeah, they'll probably go to Atlanta, huh? Yeah. Tyler Huntley, whenever Lamar's hurt. <laughs> yeah. But which, yeah, which didn't really happen this year didn't. either. No, nope. look know. at that. Knock Tua on wood. Knock and Lamar on and Tua. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. All right, next one up. All right, last one here. Three of the eight teams left have yet to win a Super Bowl. If you had to choose one right now, who would it be? You got the Texans, the Lions, and the Bills. Well, let's talk about just this year. Crazy. So the Bills host the Chiefs. That's our Manning and Tom Brady rivalry. That's going to happen more times than not. Those two teams are going to play for the AFC Championship or the round before the AFC Championship, which is happening now. The Texans play Baltimore, and the Lions play the Bucks. Of those three teams just this year, I don't think the Texans beat Baltimore, but also didn't think the Texans won the last game either. <laughs> but Baltimore's going to be rested. They're at Baltimore. They're really freaking good. I'd probably take, if I'm having to pick from the three this year who gets the furthest, the Lions. I think the Lions have the best shot to beat the Bucks. But I mean, the Bills could host it. I mean, the Bills could beat the Chiefs too. Mm-hmm. Playing really well right now. Overall, I'm probably going to go probably the Bills. If I had to pick a team to win the Super Bowl first, my life depended on it. If one of the other two teams win the Super Bowl first, I get shot dead. I'm probably taking the Bills. Yeah, they're on fire. And they're always they're solidly good, and sometimes great, and not even this year. If it's this year or next year. And James Cook is running like a, an amazing running back. Like, I never considered him to be a running back that you would trust. I guess because he's. Do you have him in fantasy? No. no. I will, though, next year. I'll, I'll, well, you don't know that. I'll try to get him. Well, now I'm going to write that down. <laughs> don't let Eddie get Cook. Okay, there you go. That is the tittle tattle. Thank you. The stupidest name ever is the tittle tattle. 25 Whistles, presented by DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the DraftKings app and use the code Bobby Sports to get in on the action. Uh, you know, I was so sure the Cowboys were going to beat the Packers. I didn't think they covered, though, to be fair. The seven points? <laughs> Remember I just take the money line? Yeah. To be fair. To be fair, I didn't think they cover. But, yeah, it's, no, we, we suck. Um, so we'll do another party next week, and we'll all lose again. But you take our other solo bets. We tend to do pretty good at those, except for my Cowboy bet, which is – Terrible. Uh, but 25 Whistles, take the 25 Whistles parlay. We'll give you another one coming up this week. Uh, DraftKings Sportsbook. And if you just get on DraftKings, new users use the code Bobby Sports when you download the app. 21 and up in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-N-Y or text hope and 467-369. And now a very touching, in-depth conversation. This was recorded in the past so we could get closer to the actual wound. It's Eddie and I talking about the Dallas Cowboys. Here you go. Okay, it's Monday night. We are at my house. Uh, nobody else is here because it is uh, uh, blizzarded. It's a snowstorm. It's We measured it with um, a ruler? Nah. Measuring tape? Yeah. Seven and a half inches. Wow. That was just my wiener. Now we did the snow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You're such an idiot. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you walked me right that's, into that, man. <laughs> it's, that's, how, that's how long the snow is. <laughs> You're so stupid. My wife will say to me sometimes, and I think you probably heard her say this too. Like she says, "Well, will you ever age out of wiener jokes?" Mm-hmm. And the answer is no, no, absolutely because not. Because the laughter is still there. <laughs> <laughs> when I did that, you laughed. I did. And you hear me every day tell every kind of joke. You know what I'm going to say before I'm going to say it, and yet you still laugh. Man, you know it's real when like I don't want to laugh. Yes. Like I, I, right now, I don't think anything's funny. <laughs> yes, I'm like, sorry. Nothing. Oh, no, I'm sorry. And that that one actually drew a Thank real you. laughter out. That, Thank you, man. That was why I did. I know you're in mourning. Uh, so it's seven and a half inches of snow. Eddie was able to drive his, his Jeep over here to the house. We didn't want to record this podcast because we still wanted to uh, let our wounds, yours deeper than mine, be freshly heard and understood. Yeah. I bet a lot of money. Yeah. Did, did you watch the text thread? No. Oh, you didn't? No. You, the Cowboys text thread? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't look at anything you guys say. And I can hear my phone. When I watch games, I always turn my phone upside down. And it's in the kitchen, like away from me. And now I think I went and got like a glass of water or something. And I can just hear it going. Did you see my Instagram post where I was like, I bet because my friends. No. 
I, 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 I scrolled past it and I saw the picture of you like saying something. Just destroy. Her hair's all messed up. And I think the text said like, why do I listen to my friends? No, it's not listen. Why do I let my friends do this to me? Well, that's what it was. So this is what happened. Stupid. Green Bay scores the first touchdown of the game. Mm-hmm. And 7-0, I'm like, let me go see if that puts the line, like, like the money line, you know, even. Mm-hmm. And so it did, and it was still Cowboys minus like 30. Yeah. So I was like, screw it. I put 2,500 bucks on it right oh there. Oh, my gosh. Well, why would you do that? Well, hold on. I put 2,500 bucks on the Cowboys money line right oh. there. So I'm like, for sure they're going to win this game. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For sure. And so Cowboys don't do anything. Green Bay scores again. Cowboys are then Cowboys plus two. I'm like, screw it. Put 2,500 on the money line again. Okay. So I bet 5000 bucks in the Cowboys to win. From minus seven to plus two? But no, no, but all money line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but I was like, I got to take these odds. So I lost $5,000. Oh, my gosh. And my thing was, I, I wasn't told to do it. No. I wasn't asked to do it. I, you were so confident, though, mm -hmm. on our last show that you were like, this is easy. It is going to happen for sure. It has already been decided. Let's go to the second round. Right. Didn't you feel that, though, too? Like, didn't anyone well, I wouldn't have bet it. I wouldn't have bet it. Right. Because you felt it. You felt I felt it because you made me feel it. It was like mm. now it was like Dak won the MVP. Honestly, I bet a thousand bucks on that. He's not going to win the MVP. It's because you were like, "Let's go!" Now you didn't make me do it. I didn't ask you. Yeah, I, I'm not putting that on you because it's time for you to take responsibility for your. Own I actions. do take responsibility, but my point is, you were so sure, and you're the guy I count on to know so much about it that I let that energy <laughs> affect me. That's not true. I let my, I let That's, that energy affect you're me. You're straight lying to me no. right now. No, so, not true. So, but that wound. I would give up that money for them to have won so you could have the victory. Because mm. I, I know it's tough. People were texting me, checking in on you. And I was like, dude, I ain't hitting them up. I appreciate that. Yeah. Dude, I must have like 20 unread texts on my, yeah. on my phone because I just won't look at those yet. Even my mom. Like my mom, who's a diehard Cowboys fan, and I FaceTimed her before the game. She didn't answer, and she FaceTimed me after the game, didn't answer it. And then she texted me after that, said, hey, are you okay? <laughs> Walk me through it. I mean, dude, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, I, I'm in shock. I'm in shock that they played so bad. Like that defense, who was the number one defense in the league during the season, like, dude, the offenses are just picking us apart. I thought it was just like, you know, okay, they're watching tape from the week before. No, no, no. Every offense that comes in and plays the Cowboys, they're like, oh, we can run against this team. We can run. We can. Doesn't matter who the running back is. That's what's crazy. Like, it doesn't matter who the running back is. We just let them get first down after first down. And no matter how good our our offense could get at the towards the end of the game, didn't matter. Didn't matter because we oh, couldn't yeah. stop them towards the end of the game too. Dude, you're talking about a two possession game at the end. Didn't even matter. I know. Like two minutes left. If you just looked at the numbers on the screen, you go, <laughs> "Oh, they could be back in it," but it didn't matter because they couldn't stop anything. Nothing. Like anytime Jordan Love had two seconds to throw. He was on. He in, at the, the first half of the game, he made like two. There were like drag routes around fifteen to twenty yards in the middle yeah. of the field. Two third, maybe both third down throws. Yeah, just wide wide open. Wide open. Wide open. No one around. It's one of those like when you know when you watch your team and and the quarterback this they're under pressure they're under pressure they throw the ball and you're like oh they're gonna throw into double coverage like it's gonna be a pick or it's gonna be close to a pick. No, these people were wide open. They would have to take the screen at times and zoom it back like. <laughs> On our, if we were doing it with our just iPhone, so you can see it? Yes, we'd have to unpinch our iPhone just to show there were defensive players on the field. Ugh. Yeah, because they were so far away were, from the play. Yes. So far away. That tight end flag route, mm -hmm. that was a pretty ugly one. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know that much about defenses and how to arrange defenses and where to put them and what to follow to even like have an opinion on it, just other than like we completely screwed that one up. just seemed like lack of communication, I guess. But, you know, when Diggs got hurt... I think everyone, myself included, were like, well, that sucks for the Cowboys defense. However, they tend to, they got better statistically. Yeah, yeah with they, they figured it out. I mean, Bland had like nine pick sixes or something. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, fi they figured stuff out, but we just could not stop runs. And as soon as we're like, okay, they're going to run the ball, and then they would throw the ball. And it was, we were just being tricked the whole time. Cowboys were being tricked the entire game. So when does he get fired? Because he will, he has to get fired, right? Man. Yeah, I think he does have to get fired. I think he gets. I mean, I don't know. You saw Jerry. Look at, dude. 
people love to do memes now and like the the shot of Jerry being disgusted in the what do you want him to do? That's it's a terrible feeling. It's a terrible feeling. I think that they're going to want to fire him now. Let's go Belichick. Bring Belichick oh. and his mullet son in. Oh. oh Bring him want, in. You want the whole family. The whole family. You want the unsuccessful Belichick version. <laughs> Bring them all in. When you started bringing in the family, things weren't as <laughs> successful, you know? When during the game did you give up hope? Mm, second quarter. Wow, that early. Because I didn't give up hope then. Then we were down three touchdowns. I know, but even then, um, as they were trying to score at half... And they did. And they're getting, they were going to get the ball back in the second half. I thought, all right, they'll score after the half. The refs are in on it. Everybody wants the Cowboys <laughs> to be there. Paying taxes. Yeah. They paid their first <laughs> half taxes. That's just terrible. It's, yeah, I did have a glimmer of hope in the, you know, tour, around halftime. We're like, okay, maybe, maybe. You look I mean, good after that first drive, that last drive of the half. You look like maybe you could do something. The beginning of the game, the first, the first drive that the Packers had, where we like put so much pressure on them and they couldn't get anywhere. First down, ooh, they lost two yards. Second down, they got two yards. Third down. Once they completed that third down pass, we're like, oh, great. 15 yard pass to an open Another tight one end. Of these, yeah. We're, we're in trouble. At what point did you get not fun to be around? Uh, yeah, I'd say the start of the second half. I had, I had to watch some of the game in my, in my room. And it's, dude, it was so sad. It was one of those like, because I talked to you guys about this in the podcast, like, it's become now where it's a family event. Like, we all get excited. My wife goes to the grocery store, gets brownie mix. She gets, like, chips and dip, and she's a whole thing. She sits down and watches the game with us. My kids get all their jerseys on. We watch games. And yesterday, like, I kind of just walked away. Like, I was going to the restroom and never, you never showed never, up. And I never came back. You Irish goodbye them. <laughs> I went to my room. I went to my room and kind of and watched kind of like I was probably like ten minutes of the game in my room, and then I get heard a little knock on the door. And it was my it was my ten year old, and he was like, "Dad, you good?" I'm like, "I'm good." And he just sits right next to me in the bed, dude. It was so sad. He sits next to me in the bed, and he didn't say anything. He didn't say like, "Oh, we got this." Dad. Nothing. Just sat with me, and we both were just like. <sighs> What were you seeing? Was it the Cowboys lost again? This sucks for me and my team more. Or were you seeing, oh my God, everybody's going to just, they're going to bust my balls <laughs> nah, forever? I don't, I don't care what anyone says. No, I don't care what people say about the Cowboys or me loving the Cowboys. Don't give a crap. Dude, honestly, and I talked to my wife about this morning, I felt like a loser today. Like, it's weird. It's weird because, like, my son's basketball team, like, they're not doing very well. They haven't won one game. And, like, the other – I have two boys that play basketball. The younger one, his team's really good, and they've lost the last two games, and they shouldn't have. So, like, I've been hurting for them. And then my my 10-year-old, like, his team can't win a game. And they're decent, cannot win a game. So I went into Sunday already with two losses, feeling like crap, thinking, like, all right, we got the Cowboys. Now that the Cowboys lost, dude, I honestly don't want to watch sports. I'm having yeah, a hard that. time – I'm having a hard time – Watching these games. Yeah, I felt that. That's how I feel with Arkansas. It's crazy, dude. It sucks. Like, I, I'm often embarrassed whenever we lose or get... I, like, I don't want to show my face. Because I feel like I play I, like I play or something. <laughs> I know, we don't do crap. I know, we don't do anything but We root. don't do anything. But it's like, I don't want to walk outside because I'll be like, oh, he, did, he didn't do it this year. <laughs> he had so much hope on him, yet he still didn't do it. I went to the gas station last night after the game to get some gas because I knew the, storm, the, the snow was going to get worse. So I'm like, I better gas up my car. I have my, all my cowboy gear, and I saw the attendant look at me like, this mm. guy, this guy. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Yeah, it was tough. That was embarrassing. It was tough, man, because you go through the whole season thinking there's a chance, and then when there's not in the first round, and you start thinking, it's like a movie. It's like that movie, you know, where it all kind of comes together at the end of the movie. You're like, oh, that's what. I start hearing y'all's voices and y'all's opinions and, like, y'all's, uh, takes on like, well, you really think like they're that good? Like they just beat no name teams and all that. And I, it's like, you know what? They're right. They're right. Maybe we weren't as good as I thought we were. Maybe we did have a pretty easy schedule. Maybe we weren't paying taxes. Maybe we were just living life. Maybe I was just living life, dude. Sucks. Do you ever want to cry? No. Nah. Nah. Did want to go for a long walk though, but it was snowing. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going out there. But, dude, I'm still not over it. Like no, tw- I know. 24 My, hours later, I'm not over it. Well, because it's over. That's why. You're not over it because it's over. You would be a bit over it if you had another game next week. You would be a bit over mm-hmm. it if 
Uh, the playoffs were starting next week, and you lost it. And you know, oh, you just, it's over. It's dead. You spent all this time investing in. This is how I feel anyway. I'm, no, all I'm dude, doing. Dude, you're speaking my language. I'm projecting right now. You spent all this time investing into this team, meaning you're reading the articles, you're reading the message board, you're following, you're betting along, you feel like you know the coach, you, and you're talking with people about him every week. That's part of your identity. People know you as the Cowboys fan. Yeah. All that you've invested in, gone now. Yeah. And now you have to start over. I know. It's almost like a divorce, but you're getting divorced at like age 51. Mm. And it's like, God, I don't want to do it again. I gotta, I gotta get remarried. Do I even have time? Do I even want to do it again? But they give you like four months to get that that courage back and, then you and want, that confidence back. And even back. at 51, you do end up getting married again. You She's do. like 27. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and, and like you said, everyone's talking about you. You know everywhere you go. Oh. Like, oh, dude, Eddie. And I know everybody's talking about me to my friends, so everybody's talking about you to me. <laughs> People were welfare checking you to me. Ugh. I was like, you know as much as I do, I have too much respect to hit him up and be like, yo, how you doing? Because I know how he's doing. Now, how are those guys? They're Cowboys fans. Are they Are they good? Well, they're, those guys are Cowboys fans that, like, I guess they're realists. They're realists. They kind of, they, I don't think they doubt 100% that, that the Cowboys could make the Super Bowl or even win the Super Bowl. Do you want to call sure. one of our Cowboys fan friends and see how they're doing? You want to call Steve? Yeah, that's who I have. Yeah. Let's see if he'll answer. I also lost my future, so now I'm going to lose six. I lost one too, man. I know. But those futures, that's like 10 bucks in your pocket that you didn't realize. All right, there he is. Hey, hey, hey buddy. You're on right now, so just know that you're you're being recorded, okay? Like my face too? No, not no, your face. No, we don't want to see okay. your face. Yeah, just your voice. Hey, um, how do you feel How do you feel today? Um, it's a kind of uneasy feeling in my stomach. Are we talking about the Cowboys here? In yeah. general, in general, man. <laughs> you know, Cowboys for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, the, the, it's like I'm sad, but I mean, what, what do I expect? It's, it's oh. been happening in the last 30 years. That's the worst. Giving up hope is the worst. Yeah, that's how I, I I'm, I'm, no, but that's how I feel with Arkansas. I'm like, I expect them to lose because they've just lost so much. And they do, and they break my heart. I'm like, what do I expect? Yesterday was just different, though. It's like we, we had no heart. From 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 the kickoff, they scored and we had nothing for them. Usually they they'll let us down at the end of the game, but no, it was just like a slow death. It was just like okay, well, okay, we scored, maybe we'll stop them. No, they scored right away. It's just like no heart. I just fire them all. I'm I'm done. Next year, going into it, we're gonna have the same team. Do I feel like they're gonna do any better next year? Absolutely not. Wow, he's mad. And why do you think you're so emotional right now? Because it hurts. 30 years, like, I, I lost count. I lost count after 27 years. The last time we won a Super Bowl was 1995. Like, <laughs> every year is like, this is our year. You know what? Like, th that, that's getting old even for the person that says that every year. Would you rather be the Browns, though? Yeah, why not? They have hope. They, they, they have, <laughs> like, like they, they, they haven't been the team that should win the last 25 years. There is the Cowboys a, have been. Yeah, there's an extra hurt to expectations and not meeting them more so than just sucking and losing. How about looking at it? How about looking at it like we they provide good entertainment throughout the season? Whereas if you're a Bears... It is delusional. What's the point in playing? It, it, me and Eddie have this argument. He's like, oh, if they may make the Super Bowl, that's a good year. No, yeah. it's not. It's another <laughs> disappointment. That's crazy. The Super Bowl, I think, would... Listen, I think... Winning the NFC would be a good year for the yeah. Cowboys because they haven't even done that. But that they, they can't get out of the early rounds. They can't. We make the but playoffs that, every that's year. That's going to hurt even more. Like we're going to win the NFC and they just lose in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Still though, that feels like growth. This doesn't feel like growth this year. Right. Out of how many teams? Thirty-two teams. Out of thirty, <laughs> I don't know. I, you know what I'm saying? There are a buttload of teams, yeah. and the Cowboys are always in it. Do we make how, it? How, how many trophies are there? How many trophies are there? There's one trophy. But they're what, not, what, 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 yeah. what are they playing for? Are they playing for for conference championships? Are they playing for NFC championships? But what do you Nobody mean always in it, though? NFC they're really not always in it. They make the playoffs. You make the playoffs. But you that's have a, so if you're one of yeah. six, uh, 16, 16 what, teams. I mean, that's pretty good. 14 teams. I think that's pretty good. That's a, that's a, that's a good season. That's half the league. <laughs> it's a little, little, let's, that's a little less than half the league. Okay, so one through seven seed, 14. That's almost half the league. Right. 
So all you want to do is be barely above average? No, but I'm saying I don't want to barely that's be. That's all we are. That, that's all we are. Well, we're average. We're average. Like like we we we, we don't ha- we're we're not enough to get over that hump. We're, we're just an average team. Look at the Texans. <sighs> so sad. You mean <laughs> Texas, what about you mean the Texans? Te- you mean Texas's team, the Texans? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, they have a star. Don't say that. <laughs> they have don't America's say that. colors. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm very sorry. I also, again, I had a different interest. I bet a bunch of money, but. No, we, I, like, I appreciate what you're trying to do that for us because cause I feel like that sometimes too, you know, like. Maybe if I bet this way, like, and, and, but as, as, um, as new cowboy fans, we kind of let you down. Like very much so the last two years. Like I jumped in hard the last two years because of you guys, and I'm in. Like I, I got a, my name tag. I went to Dallas Cowboy <laughs> Stadium. Yeah. I flew with Jerry. Like, like the last I'm two like, years, but, I was cowboyed out. Your was, buds with but, Jerry. But, but, but we, we we didn't let you in on like the biggest secret. What you just never you never bet on them. You just never bet on them. That's you, not you true. I made them. a lot of money off the Cowboys this year. A lot of money. How? What do you mean they won a lot of games? Only if you bet punt. Uh, CD Lamb. <laughs> CD Lamb gave me a lot yeah, of money. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he's betting like ten bucks and probably making back a dollar because they just beat the teams that are easy. When 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 they face any team that's that that's good, yeah. they stink. No, you, there's no bet where you bet ten one dollar or ten dollars and make one dollar. Sure, there's a lot of those. No, not yeah, it's like a for sure win because those are the only games that the Cowboys win. That's right. Well, I'm sorry. Hey, go pick another team, Steve. Go 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 buy a, go buy Listen, a Texan sweatshirt. I would rather have two to three seasons where I'm dead last, and then actually be in like the top two to four, like playing for the ch- then then to always be like slightly above average with high expectations. And then just fall flat on your face every, every year. <laughs> thirty years. <laughs> and, and, and then you hear you hear the interviews like, oh yeah, they're so disappointed. Like just play back the interviews of the game last year after the 49ers when Zeke ran into the the guys behind. You just play back those interviews. It's the same crap as this year. I'm, I'm tired. So I, mean, I you, still love them. But, you do uh, have a, you do have a few sense. months though now to readjust. <laughs> for what? For readjust for what? The, We're gonna come the back same, with the same. Same. Well, different coach though. You, you probably have a different ask, coach. Asking about the coach. Who do you want to coach? Uh, Jimmy Johnson. Let's go, baby. Like, weren't you fired up at halftime? Like, let's go. But Jimmy Johnson. That, that was weird. Him looking at the at the camera, acting like he was in the locker room. That's a weird dude. <laughs> I was inspired, man. I was like, let's go. Who do you think will coach the team next year? Who do you want to coach the team? Two different questions. Who do I want to coach? Jimmy Johnson. Who do I think I? Who do I think will? Uh, what's that guy that just got fired? Belichick, Brable. Ooh, Belichick or um, Saban. Oh, <laughs> <Saban>. <laughs> he didn't get fired. He first, quit. First of all, he retired. He's like he seventy-three, quit. and he already Whatever. came and tried the, the Dolphins. It didn't work. <laughs> he wants <Whatever>. Saban. <laughs> Harbaugh. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good one too. Because yeah, he's a winner. Like, like, uh. like, just think about it. The NFL, like, you know, the NFL will rig it for it to be the Ravens and the Cowboys in a couple of years. Bro, yeah, that's smart. Hardball. Let's go. McCarthy was a winner. McCarthy was a winner. He, he's just like he, he was. A, he was a coach with with good players. Who do you win with, Rodgers? But I feel like he One had time. really good players. The, the Cowboys have a good stacked players. team. Yeah, their offensive line A plus. Yes, their quarterback A minus. Sure. You know where they're missing. Oh, tell us. In the middle of their chest? <laughs> heart. <laughs> heart. They're missing the heart? <laughs> That's what it is. All right, buddy. Well, uh, All right. may peace be with you. Thank you. Micah, Micah, enough's enough. Like, let's get it together, Micah. If one of the Cowboys... Micah Parsons? Ex- one of the Cowboys executives are listening right now, what do you want to to be taken from your message as a diehard Cowboy fan? Oh, man, one of the Cowboys executives listening, look, it hurts year after year to kind of go through what we've gone through. <laughs> I, I mean, you got to get rid of themselves. Like, you got to get rid of management. You got to get rid of – fire yourself. So you're saying <laughs> if you're an executive listening, you should just fire yourself. <laughs> Do it for the team. Much, I mean, they're, changing, they're changing the players, and, and that's not working. Right, I mean, right, right. What, what's left? All right, buddy. <laughs> fire yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you later. Oh, man. Yeah. You want to try, yeah. you want to try another Cowboy Sure. Game? Call Mike. Yeah. See if he answers. Oh, Mike's going to come out firing. You know, he, dude, I don't even think Mike loves the Cowboys. Which Mike? Signs. Okay. What do you mean you don't think he loves the Cowboys? I don't think he He's loves the Cowboys. He's just a quitter, Cowboys. though, in general. <laughs> yes. Even on Madden League, if you jump up on him, he'll quit the game. 
So I think he really loves him, but he quits early. <sighs> What's up? Hey, you're being recorded. Eddie and I are doing the podcast right now. We just had Steve on, and we're just hearing from Cowboy fans uh, fresh Uh-oh. fresh after the game. <laughs> you ruined his dinner. <laughs> what? Are, can you just give me your, your general thoughts? Uh, embarrassed more than anything. Um, it, that, that game should not have gone that way, and props to the Packers and – but, I mean, Jerry just got embarrassed on national television with 25 million people watching, and uh, McCarthy has to go for that. So you're pro Fire McCarthy. You're uh, also yeah. pro which coach taking over? Um, I mean, everyone wants Belichick oil and water, so that ain't happening. Uh, I don't know. I just want someone that can understand clock management. That's it. We've had Jason Garrett. We've had Mike McCarthy, two guys that are just – zero passion and zero understanding of the game of football from the clock management standpoint. <laughs> and so getting someone that just understands basic principles of football would be <laughs> That's so ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. What about if they promoted Dan Quinn? No. Oh, he was um, part of the problem. Yeah, that defense was the big – people are going to blame Dak yesterday, but that defense was a big part of the issue. Um, he can beat up on those crappy teams, but you give him someone with a good offense and he – forgets how to play football too so uh, i don't know i I can't tell you who i'm pro right now but i mean dan quinn wouldn't be the the worst thing but i'm i'm also wouldn't mind everyone cleaning house and starting fresh from everywhere and how do you feel about the texans now being texas's team you know i was i was on nfl.com looking at how much those jerseys cost because man it's hard to not (laughs) exactly it's hard to not root for cj stroud and D'Amico ryan's those those are those are two really good dudes, and I'm, I'm slowly becoming a Texans fan, so <laughs> don't let anyone know. This isn't going to go out in public, right? Nah, no, you're good. No, just you're us good. Three. Just okay. us three. And do you feel yeah. if they come back with the exact same team next year, because it, it mostly will be the same guys, that you'll be right back to it's our year? No. Uh, McCarthy proved time and time again, and I say time and time again, the last three seasons, one and done in the playoffs. I mean, you can't you – can't, bring the same team back and be like, again, you know, fool, what's that quote? Fool me three times, shame on me. It's, it's kind of like that. Close enough. Like, fool me once, shame on it. you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah, fool me four times, then I'm, four. I'm an idiot. Yeah. So. 30. <laughs> 30 <laughs> years. <laughs> fool me 30 years. <laughs> 30, 30 years. <laughs> yeah, I saw a quote that was like, it's like watching a movie 30 years in a row, knowing how it ends every, every time and still being surprised by how the movie ends. So... Uh. You know, we're just getting used to it at this point, but it's it's sad. All right, buddy. Well, uh, may peace be with you. And Sorry we ruined and your dinner. You. Yeah, see you, buddy. All right, love you guys. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, can we get Derrick Henry? Because we're probably losing Pollard. Do you want him? I don't know we want him. Because you're going to use know. him if you get him. And the problem is if you have to use him a whole <laughs> lot, he's going to get hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, good point. Um, I don't know. We need something there, though. I'm, well, just let me say, and, and we'll have a couple other things to talk about in a second. But Do we? Yeah. But I'm very sorry for you. Thank you, man. I'm medium sorry for me. And no, I'm, I'm very sorry for no, you. No, it's not my team team, That's though. okay. You, you, lost, you lost what's important but to the, a lot of people. But the money thing doesn't matter. I just have kind of jumped in also and been a half fan because I never claimed to be a diehard Cowboys fan, but I have rooted for them hard. Mm-hmm. It sucks. I can't have this and the Razorbacks. Yeah. Because this is all my razor back life. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that's us. That's us talking about the Cowboys with Cowboy fans. Um, let's let's go Spurs. Let's hear this. Oh, you got <laughs> You pivot just like that. Let's say, like, oh, no, don't go for the Not Spurs. The Spurs I'm though. telling you. It's like you turn around. Oh, like, my no. God. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, let's talk about DraftKings for a second. Eddie, thanks for being so vulnerable, buddy. Dude, I sounded sad. Yeah, you are sad. I'm not sad anymore. Yes, you are. No, I'm still sad. Science <laughs> is attempting to explain why men take longer going number two than women. Oh, okay. Why do you think it is? Uh, you asking me? Yeah, anybody. Why do you think it is? Because uh, we want time away from everyone else in the house. That's it's one place. It's the holy place in the house where you can just have one-on-one time with just you and you. I was you, trying to think of who you. else the other yeah. one would be, but it's just you. Uh, Reed, what do you think? Let's go over to Reed at his house. Dang, you got a new house, buddy? No, no, I've just been redoing my studio, so it's still a work in progress. That's but. nice. Why do you think men take longer? Uh, honestly, I think we enjoy it more. Enjoy you what? Know? Enjoy the process. Like, you know, pooping, really, man. Really getting in there? 
emptying, emptying what you got inside of you, you know, and then yeah. feeling that relief, you know? So yeah. anytime we get that urge, we're like, oh, oh, I need to go take care of this. First question to- is, are men more constipated than women? No. The answer is no. No. If men in general aren't struggling, why are they spending so much time on the toilet? Well, a gastrointestinal psychologist at Cleveland Clinic tells Yahoo Life that men are more likely to feel relaxed when they're on the toilet. It's finally, that's like their time. And that also, women, there's a social stigma to taking a dump for women. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to be known as taking a long dump. Right. And that's your answer. That's so true. Like, I don't know anyone, a woman that takes a long dump. Yeah, that's true. Unless they're like sick or something. Right, right, correct. Then something's wrong. Yeah. I don't even think my wife dumps at all. I don't no. Think she, no. She doesn't let me know if she's doing it. No. <laughs> Not your wife. My wife. I was like, what? Not your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin texts Eddie every time. No, no, no. No, I don't want to spread rumors, guys. All right, the game's this weekend. Let's go no lines. Oh, gosh. Who's playing? Texans at Baltimore. <laughs> It's not it's not the biggest spread of the week, but Texans at Baltimore. Texans! You're out of your mind. Oh wow. Really Texans! Picking, you don't really believe that. I, I want underdogs to just take over this postseason. But you don't you don't think they're gonna win. Because we have four underdogs. But I you mean, don't really think they're gonna win. Yeah, the Texans could win. Okay, everybody could. I say the Texans win this one. Great. No, okay. okay. Eddie's not taking it seriously. No, he's this just a mad very at, serious he's show. He's just again. bitter. <laughs> he's still bitter. At Cowboys Losing. Cowboys Losing. So now he wants yes. everybody, everybody's heart to be broken. Yes. Um, there are these number one seeds just sitting over there watching all the drama play out on TV. Like, it, it, trust me, you're next, guys. You're next. So Baltimore <laughs> is minus nine. Oh boy, it's a lot. It's a lot. A plus nine sounds good. But the Cowboys were minus seven. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Packers and 49ers. This spread is even bigger. Packers are plus ten. Is there any way you picked Packers in this game? Totally plus ten. No, no, I'm talking about straight money up. line, money line. Yeah, did you see Jordan Love, dude? Okay, so he's just being did an idiot. Did you see no. Jordan Love? You want everybody that's expected to win to feel like you feel. <laughs> that's exactly hey, what I Eagles want. Hey, the Eagles loss had to make you feel a little better, right? Oh yes, okay. I loved that. Okay, that was amazing. I woke up the boys to watch that. The end of that. <laughs> nice. The Lions and the Bucks. The Bucks are a six-point underdog. I think I think the Bucks can win that game. I don't think they will, but I think they can. Except I do think they will. I'm a big Baker guy. I can remind myself sometimes. I don't think they will, but they can. They are. They're going to win. I, see, I go Lions on that It was one. cool to see the Lions fans. Oh, good for them, dude. Yeah, man. They're going crazy. It was awesome. Eminem was there. Lil that Sean. Cool. No, big, big Sean. Big Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I was letting Eddie, I said, Eddie okay, sorry, jump sorry, in. Because like, Eddie claims he's like down with Drake. Nah, this is I all the stupid stuff. Big Sean had a tie on. Look cool. Like a... Like a Varsity jacket and a tie? Yeah. That's a pretty cool look. Yeah. Uh, Chiefs and Bills. Who do you think is the favorite? The Chiefs are the favorite. Mm-mm. No. Remember, they're at Buffalo. The Chiefs are a 2.5 under. Wow, 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 wow. That speaks volumes. Volume? What is that? When have you ever said that? <laughs> never. Yeah. Never, but I felt like I was. I wanted to sound smart yeah, there. I liked it. It did. It did sound that smart. That speaks volumes, yes. and I think that means that Buffalo is going to win that game. So let's say it'll probably be Baltimore- Either way, this this AFC game, if Baltimore wins, which I think they, they will, but let's just say they do, that sets up another great freaking AFC game mm-hmm. between two great quarterbacks, Lamar versus Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes. And if Mahomes gets Josh Allen again, it's a very one-sided rivalry. Did you hear my stomach draw? Yeah, was that it? Yeah, I thought that was the heater. Mm, I'm starving. Wow. Packers and 49ers, that's interesting, but 49ers should run that. Lions and Bucks. I just don't feel like whoever wins that's going to win and no. beat the 49ers. Are the number ones just loving their life right now? After seeing the weekend go the way it did, like, wow, Cowboys out, Cowboys Eagles, and Eagles out. out. Like, this is crazy. But even, like, the Lions, they got set up pretty nice with the Bucks. Yeah. Like, Or would it have been an easier game to have to play Philly because Philly has, has sucked. We just gave them the benefit yeah. of the doubt because they're Philly. They look bad. They did look bad. And they're calling their quarterback a B on national That's TV. crazy. Yeah, that's not good. Can't do that. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, well, I think that's it. Did you get Peacock? Oh, you had Peacock. I got it. Like a sucker, dude. I felt like such, I felt like Hertz. I felt like a B. Why don't you (laughs) call and cancel it? Oh, I'm going to. Did you do the one month thing? Yeah, well, I just, I I just, yeah, I did it monthly and then I'm going to, I'm going to cancel that. It's not a bad service. I looked. So, so like I watched the game. And then later on that night, I went through kind of the TV shows and everything. I'm like, should I keep this or should I not? I didn't see anything that I wanted to keep. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel the subscription. But I that. man, dude, they got they had me by the. I mean, they had me good. Mm-hmm. 
You see their number? They set records. Yeah. I mean, th- that's always going to be the thing now. Yeah. But but is this a thing? Like, if you do this to us every time there's a game that we're going to want to watch, we're going to pay whatever to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. That's not fair. What they should, I don't know what they should do, but what would be interesting, obviously they want to drive subscriptions, but you should either be able to subscribe and do what you're doing, cancel, mm-hmm. or pay like 250 straight up just to pay-per-view the game from Peacock. $2.50? Yeah. Oh, nice. I thought it was $250. I'm like, no, like $2.50. That way, with those millions, of, you're, still, you're making a bunch of money. But it, then if that works, then it's going to become UFC, and we're going to do pay-per-view. 250 is low. Um, oh, yeah. it, it could, but we could do that. What do you think that was, Eddie? Oh, gosh. That was basically a pay-per-view. You had to pay for the service to watch it. I know. I want to see the numbers on how many people signed up for free and forget to forget, cancel. Yeah. I just would love to see that number. It's, it's going to be bigger than I, you think. I didn't forget, and I'm proud of myself for I that. think it's Infinity, so how can it be bigger? What do you mean? No, like, I think people will... No, I'm thinking Infinity, so it can't be bigger than I think. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Hey, so do you keep the month, though, Kevin, or are you done? Did they just yeah. cut it off? No, yeah, you go until they tell you your date. Got like, it. you have until, I have until, because I did it last month for, I can't remember what game. Only um, fans. Yes, it was the only <laughs> That was it. Yeah, that was it. I couldn't remember. Holidays just got me all mixed up. Yeah. Like, that got me with the league, the NBA league pass. I'm like, ooh, seven-day free trial. Remind me, I put an alert on my phone and everything that to cancel it. I was like, nah, I might as well keep it. I like it. But that's what they do, and they got me. Mikey, anything you want to add? Oh, they got me too, but I, w- I do want to watch that TED show. It looks funny on there. Oh, now we're doing a Peacock commercial? Yeah. <laughs> you know the show I like on Peacock is the one with, she was in Orange is the New Black, not, Nat- uh, not, uh, The main character? Natasha Lyonne? Yes, Natasha Lyonne. She has a show where she Poker can read face. Poker people's... face. Yeah, it's good. It's good? Yeah, and every episode's like a different story, but you're still, it's it very, it feels like a, kind of a 90s, it's not funny, like a sitcom. But you know how the storyline would evolve, but they'd also have a specific thing happening each episode? Like, Rachel and Ross would still, like, are they together or not? But but the coffee shop catches on fire. Like, this one's mm. about that. Or it's kind of like that. There's a new po- Have you watched it at all, Mike? I watched, like, the first season whenever I signed up for Peacock last time they got me. But I never really got back into <laughs> he it. He gets got every, every year. You didn't like it? Every time. You didn't like it, Mike? It was all right, but I do that all the time. I'll start a show. I'll be so into it. I'll just forget about it. Too many shows. Yeah, I did that. Oh, you know what I started was uh, the show on Amazon Prime. It's not called Archer. Is it called Archer? The animated show? No, Barchard. It's, I don't know. The dude's human. He's a real dude, but he like serves in the military, and he comes back. Reacher? Oh, Jack Reacher. Is it Reacher? Yeah. <laughs> are, are those good? Dude, I don't, my wife didn't like it. Okay. Because it's a little tongue in cheek and it's a little like extra violent for the sake of being funny. But yeah, they just started season two, putting it out. And I started season one thinking I was starting season two, not knowing the difference. And I'm glad I did because I was like, this is awesome. But it's like a typical dude show, but done slightly corny on purpose. But this dude is so big and strong. Yeah, he looks big. It looks like a cart- it looks super corny. It looks like a cart. Yes, and it, but it's supposed to be. Okay. It's called Reacher, dude. The guy's name is Reacher. <laughs> it's got to be corny. Yeah, but isn't there like a Jack Reacher too or something? Yeah. That's what this is. Same guy. Oh, okay. It was a movie. Did Tom Cruise play the movie Jack Reacher? Yeah. What? Do they make him seem big? Because part of Jack Reacher, it's a book. It's a series. And he's like supposed to be like 6'4 or something. How did Tom Cruise pull off 6'4? Oh, just did Tom Cruise. <laughs> Angles, camera angles. Jeez. <laughs> they shot low. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, that's it for us. Oh, one more question. One more question. Yeah. Did did they they have refs in these games, like standing by the head coach now? Did you see this? Sideline? Yeah. Ref? Is yeah. that normal? I've never noticed. Like, I didn't see a, anything abnormal. I don't know. So I, maybe it's something new. But it's like a member normal. of the officiating crew standing next to the coach entire the entire that game. That would suck. would be the worst. Worst one have to be to just explain what's happening every single time and to get, I guess, the decision whether to uh, accept it or decline it. Yeah, I didn't. But it was weird. It just because I, I saw yeah. one of the guys. I'm like, oh, he looks familiar. And I'm like, he's there the whole game. I've never seen this before. Mike, were you just waiting for the Cowboys to come back? Uh, not really. I knew it was done. How First quick, drive. Mike? First drive. First drive. I knew it. I knew it going into it. Whenever Dak didn't want to put on the hat from the NFC game, he was like, I'm waiting for something bigger. I was like, that's the kiss of death. We're gonna lose the next game. Well, that that is pretty stupid, though. The NFC, NFC East champions, like, 
I, I looked online to see if I can get any st- any like merch for on sale because <laughs> like this is the time to buy it. Did you just, just fly over to like right Guatemala now? and meet meet it in the past <laughs> the Dallas Cowboy Championship? And they champs. they had Dallas Cowboys NFC East Championship T-shirts. I'm like, why would you want that? Is that a thing? You are the champ of your 14. That's division. why they want those kids to wear or those players to wear them so they can sell them. Yeah. So they can you know you mm. see them and you buy one yourself. But we shouldn't be celebrating winning. If the- I'm the Lions. I probably That's different. do. It's a story for them. It, yeah. If I'm oh. the Cowboys, I am sick to my stomach still right. today. Well, that, yeah. Patriots, same thing. You won a lot. You're never going to hear us feel sorry for you. <laughs> no, I Because you had a whole lifetime of just winning Super Bowls and being the well, best. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, when I see a guy wear, like, an AFC East champion shirt in, like, 2017, <laughs> when we're 20 years in, I'm like, seriously? Like, that's what you're going to b- put your money on? <laughs> that is really funny. Like, I don't know why anyone would wear that. Yeah. Maybe it's just new merch that they don't have. Maybe. Maybe they got it for free. And it's the best they could get from that year. Okay. I see that. Nah, that's region, man. Ah, see? <laughs> that's Jack region, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys check out the Too Much Access episode. It's up. Uh, go to toomuchaccess.com. Reed did a great job with editing that. Reed, good job, Reed. Good job, Reed. Nice man. job, Reed. Still Pacers. And then yeah. he's got his Pacer shirt he's on today. He's still wearing the shirt? What's well, no, a different not. one? Now oh, he has two. Okay. okay, got it. I wore my shorts the other day. Those are so comfy, man. Yeah, they're awesome. So comfy. They have this band on there that, like, sticks, I guess, makes your shirt stick so it doesn't come untucked. So your shirt doesn't come out of your shorts. It's pretty yes. awesome. It's awesome. I use it for, for my wiener. What? <laughs> the, the, the band. It holds it. it. Holds it. Like I said, got to love a wiener joke. That's it. Kicks. Thank you. But that's two in one episode. Yeah. But the much. other one happened a different day. <laughs> right. Technically. Yeah. All right. Thank you. We will see you guys uh, later on this week. Uh, we'll, I don't know. Eddie, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, we're good. Thank you, dude. I'm sorry you lost stuff on that. That's all right. It's a lot of money, but it's okay. Yeah. Money comes and goes. You still got the Ravens, right? I still got the Ravens and the Chiefs. Oh, yeah. Yeesh. You got two out of the last four teams in the AFC. That's good. You never put money on the Niners? Because they were always the best odds, and yeah. I just didn't want to put money on the probable winner. Yeah. And I always threw money on the other teams when they went the opposite direction. And the 49ers never really hit a place where – I mean, Brock Purdy lost a few games, but their odds never really got that bad. Yeah. So, F it. Exactly. F it. F it. That's how I feel after every college football <laughs> season, Eddie. It's like, God, it's been all year, all week. It's terrible, Every man. week, every day, getting ready, reading, recruiting. I know we're going to do it there – Reading game, oh, two and nine. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It sucks. It sucks. Okay, thank you all, and we will see you guys later on this week. Bye, everybody. Eddie, you got a whistle? Oh, blow the whistle. Oh, Eddie. yeah, I got a whistle. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, that was weak, that weak, dude. All right. Dang. Good job, everybody. <laughs>